Virgo, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for mid-November 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a Oracle card. And these are general readings. Ah, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Not my day for shuffling, apparently. And if I ain't got it, I ain't got it. Let's see where we go. Okay. All right. The uh, overall energies for the reading, um, the chariot movement. Something's moving, something's happening. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Temperance card crossed by the Three of Cups. You're hoping that in time things will get better in a particular situation or things will get back together in a particular situation or back to that loving place. Um, in your focus, love, sending out love, giving love. Um, in the recent past, the tower, maybe something not quite pleasant happened here. There is an emotional detachment that's showing up in your strength. So it's like losing something made you possibly step out into this energy of, I need to open up more so that I don't lose something else here. Um, in the immediate future, the King of Swords, lots of determination. This might be coming with that chariot along because it's like one of those energies of I see something I like it I want it I want to go get it kind of thing and not only do I wanna I'm gonna um, the energy that's supporting this reading the star getting very very clear about what it is that you want the energy that um, surrounds you and you may not be aware of it at this time the four of wands this is um, commitment basically, possible marriage. In your hopes and fears, conflict, disagreements, fights, things like that. For the potential outcome, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, wanting to build something, wanting to work on something or, or build something here. Let's clarify. And clarify the chariot. The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Lover. Something is almost looking like it's disintegrating really, really fast. And it does look to be somewhat of a connection, very powerful connection to you. Um, now, the way the cards are presenting themselves... Hmm. I'm not sure, I don't even think it's important who's turning their back here or who's looking like they're pulling away from this. It, it, it feels like it's not necessarily relevant, but it, it does come in as an energy of not a split necessarily, but something is happening. Something is energetically at least splitting apart for now. Again, in the real world, in the 3D world, I don't see it necessarily as, oh my God, they're leaving me or I'm leaving them. Or, um, but something is happening here. Something is creating some sort of a separation between energies here within a connection. Uh, let me do the temperance card. The ace of wands, the two of pentacles, the six of wands. You want to do something about it, but I feel like there's a little bit of indecision here. Like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Um, just the thought that you may want to take action in this direction. If this is you, this could be them. I don't know. But just the thought of someone moving things from a very good place, from a very passionate place, makes you feel good about the situation. Like, maybe it's not loss, you know? Um, but there is indecision tied up to this. So you're hoping that in time you'll know exactly what to do to get this going in a very good and successful direction, basically. Let's do the Three of Cups. The 
The Justice card, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor. Yeah, you... And it feels like almost a recognition of if I want for this to happen, I gotta make it happen. I gotta take the steps to make this happen. Um, Cause you want balance, you want happiness. And I feel like it was here. I feel like it's still here, but you want it back to this level of effortless almost. Like there are some energies that are coming at play here that look like they are taken away from this happiness and you want those gone. Um, let's do the Knight of Cups in your focus. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Page of Cups, yeah. So there's a soul connection you're having with someone. There's some pain in here, um, which is kind of preventing you from showing up from your heart in this situation. I feel like you're trying but because there's some pain either around this situation or within this situation, you're not showing up fully um, there emotionally. Let's do the tower in the recent past. Two of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. You were you were kind of waiting here. There's definitely love. There's definitely a desire to give this love, to receive this love, but mostly to give it. And I feel like you were waiting. Um, you know, um, yeah, I have it. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you on Monday or Tuesday or you know, whenever I have time, it's fine. Um, until something happened here. Or I feel like there was no more Mondays or Tuesdays, you know? Almost like a feeling of taking it for granted. Like, I'll do it. it, it you're here anyway, so what do you care? You know, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know who did that. I don't know if that's you, if that's them. I have no idea. But for the Eight of Cups in your strength, you get the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. I like how... Um, Like it's, it's gonna be almost cruel to say this, but I like how something happened here that made you move, that made you realize that I can create things for myself. I can, if I want happiness, I can create it, or at least I can try to participate in creating my own happiness around something. Because before you're showing up as, eh, it's fine, it's here anyway. Why do I need to bother, you know? Um, so I like how the energy shifted into the direction of, I gotta get going here, you know? Let's do the King of Swords. In the immediate future, the World card, the Knight of Cups, the Moon. You're trying to get out of your head because I feel like so far you've been very logical, very practical, very mm, by the book kind of energy. And you're trying to bring out a little more of that heart of yours to the surface. And it's been hidden like no tomorrow here. And you're keeping it still hidden. The energy of love. It's it's almost like, love, I know I have it, but you sit there in a corner until I talk to you again and don't bother me because I need to really be practical about things. I need to take things in a very serious way, very practical way, very logical way. Leave me alone, stay in that corner until I call you out. And when you do call it out, it's very hard for it to come back to you. There's too much shadow in there. Let's do the star. <laughs> for the supportive energies, for the star, you get the star, the high priestess, the queen of wands. You do want this. It's becoming very, very clear for you that whatever it is that you're chasing here, or whoever it is, you want them. Um, and your intuition is telling you that, but your intuition, if you remember, is tied up to your emotions that were somewhere in a corner of a room. Um, up until now. So they're all coming to the surface here. Something is shaking you up big time here. That you're bringing all of these emotions out. And they're freaking amazing emotions. But for the Four of Wands and the Hidden Energies, you get the Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups, the King of Wands. I like how the Queen of Wands 
showed up here. You probably can't see it. I tried my best to do an angle here too. Yeah, for you guys to see at least something. The Queen of Wands shows up right next to the King of Wands. So you definitely want this. You got the Nine of Wands there too. That's your rejection to this because as much as we want something, there's always going to be some sort of, just if it's, you know, the tiniest little rejection to it. And the rejection could come from a sense of fear that you're going to lose this, from a sense of insecurity that you can't, you know, bring this together, even though you're showing up as strongly taking things into your own hands to create something beautiful here. Um, but there's still a little bit of something here that kind of makes things a little bit difficult. Um, at this point, I can't say I'm too worried about it because the energy is very little compared to, in contrast with all of these other energies you're bringing to the table. But let's see. Oh, okay, now I get it. For the Five of Wands in your hopes and fears, you get the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, what is this? Quite interesting, because I see you, um, hoping that things will get better, hoping that whatever conflict, whatever disagreement, whatever energy that's keeping the two of you not clicking, basically, is gonna go away. Hopefully, you know, you're showing up as, hopefully we can walk away from these energies and just, you know, keep it together. Um, but after all is said and done, there is a sense of almost unhappiness that possibly these energies created. And most of the times you can't just be like, okay, let's forget about it. Let's forget about the fact that we were at each other's throats and yeah, I, I hate you, I hate you back, but I kind of love you, but I love you too. You know, it's all kind of piling up somewhere and you can't just bypass them. You can't be like, oh, we'll forget it. We'll forget that it ever happened, you know, kind of thing. So that's why this kind of, um, what is it? This shade, if you want, of energy of unhappiness kind of stayed or is going to stay around. Um, because unless you want to address the these whatever didn't make you two click and just want to forget about it, this energy will still be here because the energy has already been created from those fights or disagreements or whatever. So it's like, okay, what do I do with the energy now? Well, you're gonna carry it with you unless you wanna address those things and what they created. For the Eight of Pentacles, you get the Queen of Swords, the Tower, the King of Pentacles. You still, man, you have the tendency to go back to what you know how to do best, and that's the mind space, right? It's very easy. It's It feels like you're working so hard for you to open up more emotionally, and then it's so freaking easy. In a split second, you're back in your head about things. And it feels like every time you go there, things tend to go down, things tend to go south, but you still kind of, you know, it's, and I get it. It's something, if you've done this all your life, how the hell, of course, it's gonna be easy. Um, but I see you intensely working on this energy um, to not do that anymore. And just give yourself time. It's a tough one, especially if you've done it all this time and it's the easiest way to escape all of this. Oh my God, emotions, what is this? You know, it takes a while to get you to step back into um, your own emotions. Let's uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. You seem like you wanna do something about something, but you're coming from a place of the Two of Pentacles. Like what, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> the Nine of Wands, that's shown up, tied up to um, the uh, commitment here in the hidden energies. You remember that one, the rejection over it that comes from fear, insecurity. 
um, that's not allowing you to know what to do, basically. You do know what to do about whatever this is. The action is there. You do know that you want to take action. You do know you have the answer within you, but you're sitting here kind of wondering, what do I do? When do I do it? How do I do it? Blah, 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 blah. All of that is coming from the Nine of Wands, which carries a sense of fear. But if I do this, what if they run off to the hills? But if I do that, uh, what if I'm not gonna like whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's you coming from the mind perspective. Remember this struggle you're having within this reading? Call off those emotions from the corner of the room there and try to balance those out with the mind. Try to see how you feel rather than what you think is gonna happen or you know what this action is gonna bring. Oh my god, let's think of a million different things that could happen out of this, you know? Uh, let's close it off with the oracle card from the spirit of the animals. Let's see a final word from the animals for you. Peacock, vibrancy. You are born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. Call your emotions from the corner also. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.